Hi everyone, it's Chloe from Chloe's Creative Cards and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this beautiful card using our brand new Summer Foliage Corner Stamp and Die Set. On this card we're going to be stamping and heat embossing, we're also going to be glittering with our gorgeous sparklicious glitters and we're going to be using some of our brand new papers on this project. The paper pad that we're using is called Beautiful Jewels and we're also going to be using some of those amazing new sequins as well which I have told you all about, I am pretty obsessed with them so they are going to be on most of my projects now. So this is the card that we're going to be making. So I've gone for a blue colour theme on this one. You can see it's really pretty building those corners up, adding the sequins on. It's a lovely, lovely project that you're going to be able to create at home as well. I've listed all of the materials that I'm using in the description below. So please do have a look and they are all available to buy from www.chloescreativecards.co.uk. So let's dive on in and, and start on the project. So you can see on the stamp set, you've got your beautiful corner and you've got your stamp here with lots of different sentiments. And you've also got your coordinating die as well. So the die has been made in one piece. So it's going to cut all three of the flowers out at once, which is amazing. And it also means that you've only got one die to line up on the stamp rather than having three individual ones. So I'm going to start off with a piece of our crystal white pearl card. And I've just cut that down to five and a half inches square. I'm going to take an anti-static bag, give it a little dust over to start with. That's just going to get rid of any fingerprints, any oils, any static that may be on the card. I'm going to pop that to one side and then I'm going to bring in my corner stamp. I'm going to ink up my stamp using my WOW Clear Embossing Ink Pad. This is the ink pad that I always use for embossing. It's a really nice sticky ink pad and it's perfect for picking up all the detail on your stamps and making your embossing powders stick to it. So I'm going to grab in my little square of card and we're going to start off by stamping the corner in the top left corner. So I'm going to just position that down because our stamps are all clear photopolymer made in the UK as well. It's really easy to get that in place. And I've got my stamp on one of our acrylic blocks that we have on the website. This is the medium size one that I'm using. So you just want to apply firm, even pressure to the stamp. And then we're going to lift that off. We are then going to take a piece of scrap paper and we're going to take some WOW embossing powder in metallic gold rich super fine. I'm going to sprinkle that over the top like so. Tap off the excess. There, and then we're going to heat this up. So, I'm going to pop that excess powder back into the jar. I'm going to grab in my image, I've just got a tiny little bit of excess embossing powder there. So, to get rid of that, I'm just going to take a little paintbrush, a little bit here as well. So, all I'm doing is using a dry paintbrush and just gently brushing that away, like so. And I'm going to grab in my heat gun. So my heat gun does look a little bit like a hair dryer, but it is a it is a heat tool. So we're going to use that and hold it still over the image. Like so. So this is a lot hotter than a hair dryer. So if you're just starting out crafting, you do need to invest in a heat tool to do heat embossing techniques. There we go. So you can see how we've transformed that powder from a very dull grey to a lovely bright gold. Okay, what we're then going to do is we're going to take our um, clear embossing ink pad again and we're just going to re-ink up the corner like so. We're then just going to place that down into the opposite corner and press. Like so, we're then going to lift that off and we're going to take our metallic gold rich super fine embossing powder again. Sprinkle that over and tap off the excess. Like so, I've got a couple of little fingerprints on my card here where I've just handled it. Must have a little bit of ink on my fingers. So I'm just going to go in with a paintbrush 
and just tidy that up. I'm not too worried if I've got little stray flecks on the flowers because we're going to be layering those up over the top anyway. So I'm going to pop that powder back into the jar. I'm going to take my heat tool again and just start to heat this up. So all I'm doing is holding that heat gun still. As soon as that embossing powder starts to melt and change, I'm going to move the heat gun over the image. I'm just going to move my finger as well so I don't burn it. So you can see how we've got those corners really nicely embossed onto there now. So what we're going to do next is we are going to take um, a piece of the beautiful patterned paper. So I've gone for one of the blue ones, which is this one here. Okay, so it's a really nice, it's got a marbly pattern on, but we're actually going to flip it over and use the reverse for this project. So what we're going to do is take our corner stamp again. I'm going to start off by giving the area that where we're going to stamp a little dust with an anti-static bag. We're going to ink up our stamp. I'm only really interested in the flowers this time, so that's the only part that I'm inking up. I'm then going to place that down onto my card and I'm going to press like so. Then we'll lift that away. I'm then going to take my Wow Opaque Bright White Super Fine Embossing Powder, sprinkle that over. Yours won't have glitter in, it's just mine is a very well used jar. <laughs> and it's got little bits that have been caught up on my scrap bits of paper there over time. I'm then going to take my heat gun and heat this up again. So you'll see this goes from like a dull white colour to a lovely bright, really nice opaque white. So we're just going to hold that heat gun still. As soon as that embossing powder starts to melt and change, I'm just going to move my heat gun over the image. Like so. I'm going to take a pair of scissors and just roughly trim this down. So there we go. And then I'm going to take my die. So your die comes within the summer summer foliage corner stamp and die set and you can see how it's all three flowers in one so all i'm going to do is line up my die like so and place my die over the top I'll pop that there and that there a little bit of tape to hold that in place i'm using my gemini midi machine today so i'm going to just pop my die between the plates and then run that through my die cutting machine and then I'm going to grab those out the other side and you can see how you have then got your flowers perfectly die cut okay so what we're then going to do you need to do that four times so you need to end up with four of each flower for this project I have got some that I've already done and prepped that have dried at home. I'm going to bring those in and I'm going to show you how we're going to bling these up. Okay, so we're going to get these beautiful sparkly little flowers. Okay, so to do that, all you are going to do is take your Arthur to Dries Clear Glue. I use this all the time. If you've watched our channel before, you'll see I use this glue constantly. And I've got the little metal fine tip on the end of mine. What I'm then going to do is just take the glue and do loads of tiny, tiny little dots. On the petals. So exactly the same. Okay. 
like so. And then we're going to take some of our sparkless just glitter. And the colour that I'm using is a new one of our new ones. This is called Diamond Dazzler. It's absolutely beautiful. It's like it's a silvery kind of iridescent blue. You've got hints of gold in there and you've got silver in there as well. So we're just going to sprinkle that over the top. And then I'll just grab in my tweezers to pick these up. They're not the tweezers I want these ones. <laughs> one two but you can see how you've got that glitter on there but when it dries down you'll get more of the blue shining through from underneath so we've got those nicely built up there okay so i'm going to use the ones that are already dry that i've done at home and we'll start and build up our base card before we do that though i'm going to pop those little flowers to one side and i'm going to bring this back in again because i want to add a little bit of glitter onto the foliage of this one so what i'm going to do is just take again my art glitter dries clear glue and with that little fine tip i'm just going to go in and glitter where the leaves are on this design And then I'm also going to just add a few tiny, tiny little dots into the background. Grabbing my scrap paper and I'm going to take another one of my sparklicious glitters. This one is Lime Zing. Going to sprinkle that over the top and then you can see how that's just added a little bit of green sparkle onto those leaves and the foliage there so pop that back into the jar and we're going to go in again So, and then we're going to take our glitter again. We're going to sprinkle it over the top and tap away the excess. Like so, and then that's going to go straight back into the jar. Okay. So we're going to pop that to one side to dry. And while that's drying, I'm going to show you how to build up these flowers. So we haven't actually cut to the center of these ones. So what you need to do is just take your scissors and just snip to the centers of the flowers. And what this will do is it'll just enable you to shape these a little bit easier. So it's really, really easy to do. All you're doing is just following the line of the stamp and cutting towards the center of the flower. And then we'll do the same with the other sizes as well. So it is really, really easy to do. And what I would recommend is always use the length of your scissor blade and move your paper as opposed to trying to move your scissors. You will find it takes a little bit of practice to get it right, but you will honestly find that is so much easier for cutting out as opposed to trying to twist and move your scissors. Mm 
and do the same with this one here. So I'm literally just snipping towards the centre of the flower. Okay, then what we're going to do is grab back the flowers back in. We're going to pinch down the centre of the petals, like so, to create a little valley fold. So I tend to use my middle finger and my thumb, pop my index finger in the middle and then just squeeze round. And just use my other hand to hold it in the middle, just lightly, and then you can just twist it and spin it. There we go. So it is really easy. Okay. So do exactly the same with all of the flowers. So we're just going to work around shaping these. There we go, and then we'll do exactly the same with the smaller ones. Like so. really quiet when I do this because I always concentrate <laughs> there we go right so pop those to one side I'm going to bring back in our base layer I'm going to pop all these little flowers to one side and what I tend to find is it's easier once you've assembled the card to stick these on so I'm going to pop those over there I'm going to just move these ones out of the way that I just did to show you how to do them I'm going to pop that one out of the way as well. And I'm going to bring in my base layers for my card. So to start with, I've got a 7x7 seven seven card blank. And I've cut down a piece of our beautiful jewels paper to 6 and 3 quarter inches square. I'm going to grab in my scrap paper. And my crystallina glitter. So crystallina, for anyone who hasn't seen before, is like a transparent glitter. So it's really lovely for glittering the edges of your project. I'm going to use my chisel tip glue pen. All I'm going to do is drag that pen towards me, holding it at about a 45 degree angle. And then we're going to dunk this into the glitter. And then you can see how it just gives you a little glittery edge on there. So I'll pop that one to one side. I've then got a piece of the coordinating blue paper that I've stamped the flowers on. I've cut that down to five and a half inches square and I'm going to not glitter that one. And then I've taken a piece of crystal white pearl card and I've just cut that down slightly larger. So again, I'm just going to go along the edges like so with my glue pen. I'm going to dunk that into my crystallina glitter. Like so. And then I'm going to do exactly the same with the one where we've stamped the corners. Just to create that little glittery border.
we go. And then we'll get these mats and layers stuck together. So I'll just give my mat a little dust off first, just to get rid of the excess glitter. So we're grabbing our base card and we're going to take some Kalal all-purpose glue to stick this one down. So a little bit of glue on the back and then stick that down flat onto our base card. And I'm going to take my crystal white card and my piece of blue paper and I'm going to stick these two pieces together. Like so, and you can see it just gives you like a very, very fine border, which is really pretty. Then I'm going to take some foam pads. These are our easy lift foam pads again. We use these all the time. They come on a massive roll like in a pizza box and you can grab these on the website. I always like to put plenty of foam pads on to make sure that my card is nice and balanced. I'll just quickly whip the backs off of this. And I'm going to pop that on my card at a slight angle, like so. Okay. I'm then going to take my beautiful piece that we've stamped the corners onto and pop that one on. That one's also going to go on with some foam pads. go and then we'll whip the backs off of this one as well and then that's going to go down onto our base card so you can see how nicely this is all starting to come together then we're going to grab in those flowers that we've just pre-folded I'm going to use some pin flare glue gel to stick these down I do like to use glue gel to stick my flowers on because it gives you that little bit of time just to manoeuvre things if they aren't quite right. So I'm going to pop my first layer down. I've squashed my petals out a little bit on this one and then I'm going to pull my petals up on my next layer. Stick this one on top. So all I'm going to do is twist that and then stick it down. Okay. So I'm going to do exactly the same with all of the flowers on here. So this one, I'm going to squish the petals down a little bit. Still have a little bit of shape, but we don't want them to have like too much. I'm going to do the same with the smaller one. One to there, one more, one to there. Right, and then we're going to do exactly the same in the top corner. So we're going to position these down like so. so it's quite a dimensional card this one of course if you wanted to make it flatter you could just stick your flowers on flat you could do your mats and layers flat if you wanted to it's completely up to you it's your project go 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my bling box. Now this is the sugared bling box that I'm using because I wanted the yellow jewels from it. Now I know it is out of stock on the website at present if you're watching this in well, what, what month are we in? Jul June, July 2022 but we do have the refills coming in stock very very soon so please do keep a check on the website because you will be able to get these colours. So I'm using the yellow from the sugared bling box gonna pop a blob of glue should have put my pin in do this every time little blob in the middle of each of the flowers like so Okay, and then I'm going to add in some of our sequins. So I've grabbed these from our beautiful new floral sequins. And what I've done is I've just taken some glue dots and stuck some of the sequins under here to like make them self adhesive. So it just makes it a little bit easier for when I'm demoing for sticking them on. So I'm going to start by just dotting some of these gorgeous little sequins around and about it is a little bit challenging sometimes when the flowers aren't dry <laughs> so please do just bear with me while i do this one <laughs> and pop a little one there pop some of these little 3d ones but you can see how you can literally just dot these about and they just add like an extra little little pop of color to your projects which is so so lovely like i am loving putting these in the background i just think they add such an amazing finish and they are really inexpensive as well you get such a big bag you get loads of sequins in the bag so you're kind of not you're not scared to use them because it's horrible when you get beautiful embellishments but you're like oh i don't dare use those these are amazing you can just get them on there okay so in the middle of some of the larger ones I'm going to put a little blob of glue. Oh, I've gone sequin crazy on this one, haven't I? <laughs> put loads on there. And then I'm going to take my little, my little jewels from my sugar bling box. So these are the smaller size yellow ones that I'm using. I'm just going to dot these into the middle of the sequins like so the ones I haven't used I'll pop straight back into the little box and there we go okay and then what you can also do is you can take so within your sequin bag, you get some really tiny sequins as well. And again, these are lovely just for adding a little pop of colour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle some out onto my scrap paper. And see if we can get some of the smaller ones. And grab where I put my little picky up towel. Then you can take some of these tiny ones and just pop them in the background. But they really look really, really pretty and effective by just adding a few of these in. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same on this one. So just some little dots of glue. Like so. 
And then I'm going to pop my jewels, my sequins, sorry, back into the little bag. So, and then what I'm also going to do is add some jewels into the corners of this card. So I'm going to put three at the top corner, three across the bottom, three up here and three across here. And I'll do three there and three there. So we're just going to take the smallest size of the blue, the blue jewels. These are just going to go into the corners. Like so, and the same in the bottom corner. go okay so pop that to one side and then next up I've got a little bit of crystal white pearl card again and I've taken one of the sentiments from this stamp set and I'm going to stamp it in my black versafine ink pad And then because we're working on pearl card, let me just grab a wipe there for my finger. I've just got ink all over it. <laughs> Not a good move. There we go. Because we're on pearl card, I'm going to emboss it. So I'm just going to use a little bit of clear gloss, super fine. So again, a little bit of anti-static onto my card stock. We're going to place that sentiment down and press. Lift that away. So the sentiment says, best friends make the good times better and the harder times easier, which is a lovely sentiment. It's going to go straight back into the jar. And then we're going to take our heat tool just going to heat this up there we go and then we're going to take our eight by eight basic ovals nesting die set and I'm just going to find Whichever oval fits this sentiment. Try dropping down one smaller. So it's that one there that fits it nicely. And then I'm going to grab my die cut plates. I'm going to pop this down onto my card. So we'll just tape this in place. I'll just quickly run this through my machine. So again, I'm just using the MIDI project. Lift that out. I'm going to pop a foam pad on the back. I'm going to nestle that sentiment just in the middle. And that there would be your finished card. So I really hope that you have enjoyed today's project. If you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
And again, all of the items that I've used are listed in the description below. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.